Hi, I'm David Stuckler. I'm a professor at University of Bocconi, Milan, and today I want to share with you the number one thing that I wish I had known when I was a graduate student. So let's roll up our sleeves and dive into it. So like you've chosen to go to grad school because you want to invest in yourself. You want to boost your academic and research careers and unlock your higher potential. And to do so in graduate school, often what you're going to get is a lot of important training in methods. And apologies for my bad professor handwriting. And these methods are critically important to your career and your success and moving you along. But at a certain point, what you need a lot of uh, to make these methods useful is you need some ideas. Now, almost the bulk, and I would say about 99% of our training that we give our graduate students is on methods. And less than 1% is over in this world on ideas. And so what I encounter so often are some very technically talented graduate students, perfect on methods, great at crunching numbers, excellent human calculators, work technically precise in the lab, but they cannot come up with a single original idea. And here's the problem. You have to think about who this system of training is benefiting. Because yes, this partly benefits you, but I'd say the real balance of the benefit in your life is actually, when it really matters, I'd say about 85% is gonna be your ideas. And about 15% is gonna be your technical know-how. And so who does this system benefit? Well, it's important to remember that the academic structure is very hierarchical. And at the top, you have a, a crusty old professor like me. And at the very bottom, you have, say, uh, undergraduate students. And in between, you have grads. And then you have postdocs. And then you have sometimes, and I hate this term, uh, junior faculty. But you can see even that term embeds this notion that there is a hierarchy. And if you're sitting at the top of this totem pole as a professor, what do you want? You want sets of hands. You want sets of technically capable and talented people who will do what you want them to do. And that is precisely who this system benefits, who this system serves. And I think it's time to change that system, uh, not just for the good of education, but really for the good of you, your career, and fast-tracking your success. So, how do you come up with good ideas? How do you choose a good topic? How do you know if your topic is gonna to have any impact? I bet that you have received very little, if not any training at all on that topic. And so I'm here to help. If you click the links below, I've got a session that I had never seen before on how to choose a good topic. And I've got a session on uh, how to forecast the impact of your topic. Because I often find uh, people want to know, in some objective way, am I on the right track? And I I've got a, a tool uh, completely free to you and instead of training that's going to help you forecast the impact uh, of your topic before you dive in. So thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you soon.